Boral Sword is a link. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I gotta, think Duffy's just saying, yeah, we gotta gotta get you to buy the monsters. Uh, so yeah, hand is pretty interesting. It's it can basically do whatever combo I want depending on what my opponent sets up. And my opponent oh, is playing the Utopia. Uh, the Utopia deck, which is obnoxious. Obnoxious yeah. is the only it, word I can think about. It's the before. same as your deck. Going second, it just goes face, and going first, it makes impregnable monster. Oh, I guess this is how everybody feels when I play against them. Then. Yes, <laughs> how you felt in this match is how everyone feels playing against you. <laughs> there you go. This has been really good character development. I now I now understand that card. I massively underestimate uh, this Utopic Sage, and it comes back to bite me a little bit later. So opponent's going to go ahead and set their their Omni Negates, and then I'm just going to try and break through it. I think this card is stupid. Like, to not be destroyed by battle or card effects feels like a bit much on how strong, considering how strong uh, Utopic Futures actually is. Mm. A Draco Future, like. Yeah. Uh, like King if it had of one or the other, it would have been <laughs> fine. True King of All Calamities, or VFD, we call Very Fun Dragon. This guy is. Utopic Future Dragon or Ultra Fun Dragon. There's the Very Ultra Fun Dragon fun and the Ultra dragon. Fun Dragon. Both of them are obnoxious. I love mirror matches where people are playing entirely different decks. Up. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, you can talk about the style of the game. I guess that's a different way. Unfun Dragon. Yeah, so Pono makes dra uh, Utopia Dragon Armor. Dragon Armor. Oh yeah, we'll just get uh, Leo. Yeah, it's we'll... just his version of Quantum Dragon Arrival. <laughs> Basically, yeah. So I'm gonna play through that without Kaiju. Um, do I draw the Kaiju? That's a question. No. Oh yes, yeah, so draw on Lockbird. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. Uh, so, yeah, opponent then just goes ahead in my turn and makes um, spell, the spell negator. Yep. <laughs> Opponent's got one, two, three, four negates in play. Just in the interest for people, I'm going to put these up just quickly so that they can pause and read what all these annoying cards do, like these two target negates and stuff. Yeah, so I'm reading these cards and trying to remember what they do, or like seeing them for the first time in a competitive sense. Um, I didn't read that XE monster in the graveyard because I didn't have time to read the wall of text while everything else was going on, and it causes me problems here. Oh, you mean so, uh, this one? Yeah, which you can banish from the graveyard to protect light monsters. So it blanks my lightning storm, or rather it massively reduces the impact of my lightning storm. So I need my... I'm trying to bait the uh, titanic, and my opponent chooses to let my titanic go through. So I let my um, Silent cyber's mining. mining. Silent mining, because I was trying to say, think my opponent's going to think, oh, it's a two for one, I'll take it. But the opponent is like looking for very specific threats and... Uh, to threaten the dragon. So I'm going to go try and activate this. Opponent's going to go ahead and negate. Doesn't take control of my monster, so I'm like, oh, okay, so I've essentially get... Yeah, because this one's the one that takes control. Yeah, I was trying to see if my opponent would do it, so I could then go for... Lightning uh, stuff, yeah. <laughs> uh, so then we're going to go for this. Opponent then decides to take my uh, infant, so that's two of the negates down. Uh, and now I get to do a really cool thing where I'm like, okay, fill the spell. Titanic is going to attach it as a material, so I kind of think, ah, I've spell, the game is over. And I'm like, oh, this broke out perfectly, so I'm going to sweep everything except for the Utopic Futures, and then I've got a combo to get uh, Quantum Dragon out. Well, obviously, he just banishes the Exe monster, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's a problem. So now I can get back my filter spell, and I can essentially build a bit of a combo. It's still scuffed, and I can't answer the Utopic Futures because my opponent's got another negate. So, Thank God you had the balloon. Wow. Yeah, so I literally have to play every card in my hand to get onto the field, and then I still can't answer the Utopic Futures, which is a problem because as soon as um opponent falls off of the restrictions, I'm never going to get enough cards again to play through it. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, we go for the Transcode Talker play. Uh, I like to call it Scuffed Access Code Talker because it doesn't actually 
double attack. But we did get a very sexy attack pop. And then we can just sweep out the rest of these cards. The continuous spell doesn't do anything, so I just leave that, because it's like, okay, just go confirm, we'll leave it. So yeah, we hit that, and I'm kind of in a bit of a conundrum, because I can't get rid of it, because he can't destroy it by battle, can't destroy it by card effect. So I'm actually in a really awkward position if he just switches it to defense. Pope Punch plays Harpy to Feather Dust, I'm like, oh, it's a field spell I can get back. Fine. And if you activate yeah. the monster effect, he negates and takes, like, yeah, this card is super strong. And there goes your field yeah. spell, which is a really weird thing to use Duster on, because you can just get the field spell back. Yeah. Opponent attacks, and then opponent, like, throws the game by making Zeduce. I don't have any more Exit monsters in my graveyard that I can banish for this, but my opponent doesn't snap the Zeus in the standby phase. So I'm just like, oh, okay, I've got full combo from here. <laughs> He forgot you could vanish from field. Yeah, and then punch. But <laughs> like that's breaking through a board. You've just got to take it step by step, and you've got to try and bait. You got to figure out what the most threatening the gate is, and then try and bait your opponent into it. Um, playing around is impossible. Sometimes it's just not going to be possible. But you can sometimes just find that tiny little edge where you make you make a crack in their armor, or they just burn themselves out, and then you can uh, resolve your combo. 